Hello everybody, my name is Will from Ghost Hack, and today I have a production basics tutorial for you guys. I'm going to teach you how to properly use automation clips inside FL Studio. Now quickly before we begin, if you are new to FL Studio, an automation clip is a clip that looks something like this. And it is just a clip that allows you to control the movement of a knob, a slider, or even a button inside FL Studio while the song is playing. So let's hop into FL Studio and I can show you how to use them. So to demonstrate this, I have a little bit of white noise that I generated using the 3X oscillator. And we can say that inside the 3X oscillator plugin, I wish to control this volume knob right here. All I have to do is right click and drag to highlight this area. And then I can go into 3X Oscillator, right click the knob and hit create automation clip. Now inside native FL Studio, every knob, slider and button that you are able to automate will have this create automation clip function. So we create the clip and now we can see the clip right here. We can exit out of this and you can also see that the clip was added to our channel rack here. So now we can zoom in and right click to add dots and drag them around to create the automation that we wish for. Maybe I wanted to do something like this. I wanted it to kind of go up and down in this pattern. And there we go, the basics of an automation clip. But there's just two more things I want to show you real quick before you go in using this in your new projects. The first one is that if you wish to have a shape like this, but you want it to extend extremely far, there are a couple ways you can do that. The first way is just to click the automation clip and then paste it in the timeline so it repeats like this, or you can use it as an LFO. And basically what that means is, let's say this is, is this is supposed to stretch out all the way to here, and I want a shape such as this. I want it to constantly be doing the same thing. I can double click on this automation clip, and we have a few different controls. We have some stuff up here and some stuff down here that we're not really gonna mess with, but I do want to enable this LFO, and watch what happens when I do that it creates this shape that you can see is completely the same no matter how far out I drag the clip. And you can mess with these knobs in order to change that actual shape. Like we have the amplitude, we can make it louder, we can make it quieter like this. We have the speed, which is uh, pretty straightforward. We can control how fast this thing goes. We can control tensions and kind of use these knobs to shape the actual shape that is being repeated here. And you can get some really interesting shapes as well. It's not just limited to your basic shapes. So that might be an efficient alternative for this instead of of just clicking over the same shape over and over again. But there's one last thing I like to teach you which I think can come in very handy for a lot of people. Let's say that along with this noise, I have just a simple sine wave that I can generate with 3x oscillator as well, playing at the same time. And what would I do if I want the volume of this 3x oscillator to also be controlled by this automation clip? Well, we can actually attach two controls to one automation clip. And the way to do this is to open up 3x oscillator. And as you can see, we want to control this volume knob the exact same way that we control the volume knob in the white noise. So what we have to do now is right click, but instead of hitting create automation clip, we want to hit link to controller. And when we do that, this pops up, but I can kind of close these out because the only thing that you have to worry about right here is this one, internal controller, because it says none right now because nothing is controlling this knob other than just you when you go in and click it. So we have to add this as its controller. So we can click here and it already has the automation clip ready to load in. So when we click that, and make sure that remove conflicts is not red. If it's red, it's gonna remove the other thing. We don't wanna remove it. We want them both happening at once. So make sure that that is turned off and hit accept. And now both of these volumes will be controlled with this automation clip. Also, as a side note, if you're wanting to create an automation clip for a plugin that is not native to FL Studio, such as maybe Serum, for instance, then when you right click on a knob such as this level, you will see that there is no option to add an automation clip. There are a couple of ways of doing this, but what I like to do is click this little knob right here so it turns yellow. And then once it turns yellow, click on the knob that you wish to automate. And then you can go up to this yellow knob, right click, and then create an automation clip. The purpose of this tool is just to give you all the FL Studio knob options to any plugins that might not be native to FL Studio. And now we have a Serum A volume automation clip that we can control exactly how we want. 
So there you are. That is the basics of how to use automation clips inside of FL Studio. If you're a beginner in FL Studio, I hope this helped you out. And no matter what skill level you are on, I encourage you to subscribe for more music production videos and tutorials. Once again, I'm Will from Ghost Hack, and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing. Thank you.